I cut my best friend off because my wife told me to, for her personal reasons. Now, I feel alone and hurt, and I regret it deeply. Scott, if you are reading this, I love and miss you bro. I am generally a helpful person. I'm usually more than happy to help out a friend. I'll lend an ear to listen or offer advice or a shoulder to cry on. I'll help you move on or fix a problem. I never get the same attitude in return. I'm so sick of being there for people and then being tossed aside when they no longer need or want anything. I don't want to become a selfish person but it's driving me insane being treated like this. In the past two weeks I've been essentially used for advice or support by six people and then they have all now completely abandoned me now that they are sorted. This is a pretty common theme in my life. I have my own life going on and I'd love it if at least one of my friends was willing to be there for me but it's never the case. I just wish someone cared for me enough to at the very least, reply to me. I'm not really sure what advice I'm looking for. I know I should be more discerning of people and be willing to say no every once in a while. But I don't want to seem selfish. If anyone has any advice on how to be more capable of this, I'd really appreciate it. Because I'm over people using me then abandoning me. It's happened pretty frequently recently, and I just need some advice on how to manage it. I'm new to Reddit. If I'm doing this wrong please let me know. I'll admit I have two reasons for making this post. 1. I'd like advice on how to fix things with my best friend after I cut him off. 2. I'm hoping he sees this post and talks to me. My best friend started using Reddit after his girlfriend cheated on him. He said he came here for advice and it really helped him. I know I'll get hate-filled messages for what I did but I don't care. I just want to fix things. I miss him. And I'm worried about him. This is what happened. My wife and I are 25 and thinking about starting a family. I've known my best friend since we were teenagers. He grew up in the foster care system and in group homes. He had a really terrible time of it. Though he didn't let any of that change change him. He has always been such a loyal and caring guy. We became friends from the start and we got along really well. When he turned 18 the foster parents that were looking after him kicked him out because they weren't going to receive benefits for looking after him anymore. I told my parents and they let him live with us to finish school and afterwards so he could find a place to live and wouldn't have to go homeless. I met my now wife while I was in uni. When we started dating and met my friends she always was a bit standoffish with him. He has always been kind to her and welcomed her wholeheartedly. When we got married he was so excited. He did so much to help us with the wedding. Helped organize everything pretty much and even as an early wedding gift paid for some of it. A couple of months ago my wife and I started talking about kids and decided to try. Last month though she told me she didn't want him around our kids because of his childhood. She didn't want our kids to hear about how he grew up because she thinks it'll make them sad and she wants them to not lose their innocence. He has never really been weird about his childhood. If someone asks him he is honest but he doesn't shove it down your throat or anything. I initially pushed back and refused to cut off my best friend for something he had no control over. She was adamant that he was not going to be around our kids. She kept saying that she would not let his life make them sad. He's done incredibly well for himself. He has a stable job and apartment that is honestly nicer than ours and is incredibly caring. She ended up giving me an ultimatum. Him or her. She's my wife and I panicked so I chose her and told him I wouldn't be able to see him anymore and once we had our first child we would be done. He tried to reason with me and even offered to speak to my wife about it. She met with him but afterwards said it was sad but her mind was made up. So I did it. I fully cut him off. After I did, a lot of our friends did the same thing. They said they didn't want to cause any issues or start drama so they also cut him off. I told them that there wouldn't be any drama. But they said what's done is done. My wife honestly seemed pleased that it had happened the way it did. I've reached out to him a couple times to see how he's doing and to make sure he's okay. But he hasn't replied once. Two nights ago I tried calling him but he's blocked my number. He doesn't have social media so I tried going to his place to talk to him but he didn't answer. I know he was home because I heard the TV on. I asked my friends if they've heard from him but he's blocked them as well. I don't know his Reddit username but I can't think of anything else to do. I miss him. I guess I've realized I want him in my life. I want my future kids to know him. I want them to look up to him the same way I do. He's an incredible person. He's never let how he grew up stop him.
always striving to be of service to those around him. I can't sleep and I can't believe I did what I did. I spoke to my wife and she said she has felt guilty for what has happened. I can't go to his work because he works for the government and they'll never let me in the building to go to his office to talk to him. I need advice on how to make things right and see him again. My wife and I have decided we were wrong and she has said she wants to apologize for this. How can I fix this Reddit? How can I get him to talk to me again? Please help. Also Scott if you're reading this, I'm so so sorry. I know what I did was an awful thing to do. I hate how I acted. We all miss you man. Please talk to me. I understand if you don't want to forgive me, but please let me know you're okay. If you don't want to be my friend anymore, I would understand. I just miss talking to you. I love you bro. A little rundown. I cut off my best friend because my wife and I want to start a family. And I now regret it deeply. I'll do anything to make this right. I've read every comment and I've tried to reply to as many as I can. I appreciate where everyone is coming from. I'm going to step away for a bit and write a letter for Scott. And my wife is going to do the same. I knew I would get a lot of hate and I knew the same would be directed towards my wife. I guess my second intention for the post hasn't come to fruition. I haven't heard from Scott yet. I hope I do though. I am grateful for your advice. Even the mean comments. Thank you. Relevant comments. What about your wife? Is she willing to apologize and welcome him in your lives? Reply. She is. She agreed to writing a letter to him as well. Apologizing for what she did and how she has treated him in the past. She feels awful. She admits his childhood made her uncomfortable. She has a happy family. So I think she feels guilty about that. She isn't a bad person. Just misguided. Another user. His childhood makes her uncomfortable? Are you joking? What happens if the kid supposedly wants to have a friend in the system? They cut them off too? Reply. I think she feels guilty because she has a full happy family and they are pretty wealthy. She is just sheltered and didn't deal with a lot of turmoil growing up. I know hearing some of the stories of abuse from his childhood made her very uncomfortable. She never had to deal with adults hitting her or refusing to feed her. That was his childhood pretty much. She was worried he'd tell our future kids that and they'd become sad and scared of life. Commenter. Why did your friends go along with dropping him over this? That makes no sense. Y'all ostracized a guy for growing up in the system? Really? Is there more to the story you're not telling or all of you are just ridiculous? For the love of God don't subject this guy to any of you anymore. He doesn't need this drama in his life. Heck if I were him and any of you showed up at my house or job I'd have y'all trespassed. Reply. They didn't want to cause any issues. We are all friends so they didn't want it to be difficult to see everyone or hang out. They didn't want to have a party and only invite either him or myself and my wife. So they chose to do the wrong thing, like myself. In their words, it just seemed like the better option. There isn't anything else other than misguided decision making and per judgment on our part. Another user. Is there some reason why they all instantly sided with you? Nobody sided with him at all? This makes zero sense reply from what they've said it seems they thought this was the easier option i wasn't at all happy about it and i asked them to cut us out and not him but it was too late and he had already blocked them as well edit scott finally saw the post and this is his response in the comment section go f yourself james maybe i blocked you because you cutting me off showed me who you really are side note let's not act like cindy didn't want me around because of my childhood she has never liked me I tried to be nice to her but she had made her mind up as soon as I met her. I know she didn't want me to be your best man and I know this isn't the first time she has tried to remove me from your life. Enjoy your messy marriage. When she finally does cut you off as well, don't come crying to me. Don't bother me with your BS letter. I don't want it. Keep the keys to my place. I'm changing the locks. I'm used to being alone. It's better than putting up with either of you. Once more, go F yourself. Edit. Later. Scott added in the comment section. It's all good. Not your fault. Life isn't always rosy and fun. I've been reading all the comments. It's been kind of cathartic to read that you tried to cover for yourself and your wife while also trying to act like you care. Only to be shut down by everyone. I know I shouldn't find joy in it. But it is fun. I'll be okay. Life moves forward, onwards and upwards. Edit. Scott is asking for advice on how to make friends in your mid-twenties. Any advice would be greatly appreciated. Background. I had what I thought was a solid friend group, 
but they have since decided to move away from me because my ex-best mate's wife doesn't think I fit into the perfect life she is trying to create. And the rest are following because they don't want to cause drama. I have since tried to make new friends but haven't had any luck. I met a chill bloke at my gym and we have worked out together a couple of times. I asked him if he wanted to grab a beer but he wasn't really interested. I'm not that interested in making real friends at work because my job is pretty stressful and I don't want to think about it outside of work hours. I get along with them all but I'd rather have a proper break from that when I'm not working. I'd love any advice for how a guy in his mid-twenties can make some friends without coming off as desperate or just bothering people. Thank you in advance, Tweeter. My friend group ditched me. How can a guy make friends in his mid-20s? Edit. Back to up. Update. I cut my best friend off because my wife told me to. I hate myself for it. I'll be honest. I wasn't sure if I was ever going to come back to Reddit after my last post. But I need somewhere to vent. So here seems as good a place as any. My last post received probably a well-deserved level of hate. I understand that I messed up when I cut my friend off. I imagine anyone reading this only really cares about how he's doing. So I'll start with what little I know. We haven't spoken really. He found my post and sent me a message telling me he didn't care if I was remorseful that he's done with me. He also told my parents what happened and the reasoning behind it. They were pissed to put it lightly. They've been pretty open about how much they are disappointed in me and how they are disgusted with my wife. He hasn't really spoken to them other than to let them know what happened. My mom is heartbroken. She really loved him. And now, he isn't really replying to her messages. The only other thing I've really heard is that he is speaking to his ex again. She cheated on him. And I know he's probably only speaking to her for some support. I guess I'm worried he'll give her another chance and she'll hurt him again. Other than that, I don't know anything. Lots of messages telling me to divorce my wife. Well, you might get what you want. Our relationship has taken a massive dive off a cliff and I don't see a way to repair it. To those telling me that something must have happened between them, I can only say this. He's not that sort of person. He'd never betray someone like that. I don't know if I can say the same for my wife anymore, given how she's manipulated me into ditching my best mate. But I know he's not the sort of person to participate in that. It seems she just didn't like him and wanted him gone. She used the potential of us starting a family to make a move to remove him. So to recap my parents hate me. My best friend won't talk to me. He's now talking to his ex who cheated on him and broke him last year. My marriage is probably broken beyond repair. I don't see any real way to fix things but I guess I'm wondering if there is any possible way to fix things with him. If anyone has any advice I'd appreciate it. I miss him more than anything. Tleeter. My life is collapsing around me. My best friend won't talk to me. My parents hate me. My marriage is probably over. My best friend is making a huge mistake talking to his ex. Update from Scott. Hey all. Firstly, I want to thank everyone for the incredible comments and messages I've received over the last couple of days. I know a bunch of people are here because of a certain someone's post. I appreciate all the incredible support I've gotten since then, whether by comment or chat request. You're all such kind people. It truly brought tears to my eye reading them all. I am going to try and get back to them all, but I've had a rough couple of days as I'm sure you can imagine, not just from reading that B. S. That he wrote. But work has also been pretty stressful lately on top of it. And I've struggled to keep up with all the notifications. Please just know you're all awesome. I'll try and make an effort to reply to everyone this weekend. Secondly, to answer some of the more common questions I've received lately. I have no intention of letting James or his friends back into my life. As my mantra goes, they made their decision, so I'm going to make mine. I'm moving on with my life. Albeit alone but that's life sometimes. Secondly part 2. I'm not much of a gamer but I am seriously considering getting more into it and I'm so appreciative of all the comments and messages offering to squad up for some games. I'm not at that point just yet. But please know when I am. I have a lot of people who I owe a message about that and I am going to try and at least get a game in with each of you if you'll let me. And finally. I know that while I may not have many real life friends, I have what seems like an entire army worth of Reddit friends, which, given my experience so far, I prefer wholeheartedly. You guys are truly the best. I'm not going to go on much more because I'm exhausted and have work early tomorrow but once again thank you all. Please stay safe and keep being the incredible,
kind, heartwarming, empathetic people that you are. You are all truly legends and I wish I could thank and hug each of you in person. You guys really made a dark time for me feel a little brighter. Final update from Scott. I guess I just want to clear the air here. I want everyone to know I've read all your messages and comments. I firstly appreciate everyone who has sent me a message or has commented. This has all become a little overwhelming. I now have 50 plus chat requests, most of which offering support, and that's awesome. I guess I just want to put a lid on all of this because I have felt a bit like it's all too much right now. I'm not trying to make anyone feel bad because I know 99% of you are just trying to be supportive, but it's gotten a little out of hand now. It's made me feel a little skeptical of whether or not your messages are coming in truly for support or just people looking for more drama. So I'm making this post to put an end to it all, for my own mental health. I've had a bunch of messages asking me to talk to James' parents. I for a while didn't reply to their messages or calls. I felt awkward because they're obviously his parents and I'm the kid they let live with them. I have now though and I'm glad I did. It's definitely a more tepid relationship than before but it's okay. James' mom has always been a big support person for myself so it's good to talk to her again. She used to sit with me when I'd have nightmares and talk about them with me till I fell asleep again so she'll always have a big place in my heart. I've been having them again more recently I haven't had the heart to tell her yet. I'm just hoping they'll stop so I don't have to. I don't want her to worry. As for my ex, I don't want to get into that too much. We were talking for a bit but that has stopped. I was lonely and felt vulnerable. I'm no longer talking to her. So no worry there. To the people telling me to forgive James for what he did. Yeah, no effing way. He's a grown man. He made his decision. I don't care if he was manipulated by his wife. He chose to cut me off. He watched me beg him to change his mind and he still decided to act like a cat. With some hindsight, I've also noticed our relationship since high school has been very one-sided. I'm not looking to do that again. He can enjoy the bed he made. I really don't want to have to get into this again so I am asking that if James makes another beast post claiming his life is a mess please don't bring it to me. I don't care what's going on in his life. I don't care if he gets divorced or has kids. He's on his own. It's about time he gets an understanding on how that feels. I am going to say this as well. I'm sorry but I probably won't reply to everyone's messages or comments. It's hard enough keeping up with the people who have been messaging. I'm not going to add 50 plus other people to that stress. Please know I appreciate the messages, but I'm not some superhuman who can keep up with unlimited messages and people. I'm used to having 10 friends at most. This has all been a little overwhelming. I'm hoping I don't come off as a huge cat in this post. But I'm also pretty skeptical that everyone who has messaged me actually cares. That's a foster kid's mindset for you though. I'm not used to people actually caring. So that's that. Also, side note, I appreciate everyone who has asked me if I'd like to meet for a beer or whatever. That is truly kind of you. But I'm not in the habit of actually meeting people who reach out to me online. I can see you're coming from a place of love but I'm also pretty attached to my kidneys and other non-vital organs so I'd rather not risk it. I don't want to wake up in a bathtub full of ice. No offense but I feel like I should err on the side of caution in this situation. Thank you all for being so kind. Please don't hate me for this post. Just felt the need to get this one out. I've struggled with whether or not to make it for a bit. Once again hopefully I don't come off looking like a cat. Please take care and keep being kind people. I appreciate you guys. Edit. I've just noticed there is a decent amount of swearing in this. Apologies for that. I'm Aussie and that word doesn't mean a great deal here. I know it can be a little jarring on the delicate ears of Yanks, so sorry about that. Edit too. I'm not leaving Reddit or anything. I'm just over this mess with James. Had a couple of people ask me. Just wanted to clear that up. 